Hello, I'm Dr. Joseph Love with the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. In this video, we're going to provide information about the importance of proper handling and live well use for tournament caught bass, not only to improve the fish's chance of survival, but also for anglers and tournament staff to understand and be compliant with current Maryland fishing regulations. As of January 2021, tournament directors are required to inspect live wells on all boats before the official launch. Fishing with a dysfunctional live well could jeopardize the director's permit and more importantly, fish health. When landing, unhooking, and taking photos or culling, please don't forget to wet your hands. If necessary, use a rubber net rather than landing the fish on the carpet of a bass boat to prevent injuries. And be sure to limit its time out of water. Quickly move the fish to an adequately sized live well and maintain proper circulation, aeration, temperature, and chemistry throughout the day. Smaller fish can be held vertically by the lip, but with larger catches, provide additional support by holding it horizontally to minimize stress on the jaw and backbone. While it's true that many bass boats come with sophisticated equipment, proper operation requires more than just flipping switches. First, know your energy needs. Be sure to have enough battery power to run all of your electronics and your live well throughout the entire tournament. If your energy resources are inadequate, the live well could fail and cause your bass to die. Next, understand the importance of volume and capacity. A 25 gallon live well will outperform a 15 gallon live well. Overcrowding can stress operation and increase the chance of fish mortality. A good rule of thumb is that for every pound of fish, you need at least one gallon of water. And remember, bass weighing five pounds and up will require more oxygen and more care than a smaller fish would. We recommend using continuous water circulation with periodic water exchanges whenever you fish. And we require it when river or lake water temperature exceeds 80 degrees Fahrenheit. When necessary, you can add a frozen jug of water or bag of ice to keep the temperature five to seven degrees Fahrenheit below the river water. Colder water slows down bass and helps keep them alive. If fish are injured, do not add hydrogen peroxide, carbonated beverages, or baking soda to the live well. Sometimes just a little aquarium or sea salt is all that is necessary to keep your catch healthy. Lastly, know the signs of struggling fish. Malfunctioning live wells, poor maintenance, or overcrowding can cause bass to gulp air or lose equilibrium. If this happens, bucket in fresh water immediately and if necessary, release your catch to ensure its survival. Protecting our state's natural resources is exceptionally important and we are grateful for your assistance. In addition to your fellow anglers and directors, we're here to help. If you have questions, please visit our website or send an email to the customer service team. Thank you for watching and good luck out there.